Hello, it's Katie Parker. I'm going to show you how to make these earrings today. So this could also be used as maybe like drops off a necklace piece or something like that too. It uses these little cabochons, these Arcos beads and the size 11 seed beads. So it's very, very simple to make, but it gives quite a really nice ornate design. So I thought I'd make my uh, next pair using the other colourway in the kit, which is this colourway, which is absolutely beautiful. So to start off with, we need a needle on both ends of our thread. So I've got a piece of thread that's about um, eight centimetres long. It's going to be more than you actually need, but it's always nice to work with as much thread as possible, just so that you know that you're not going to run out and have to add any thread. So once you've got a needle on both pieces, what you need to do is pick up your little cabochon piece and make sure that you're working so your cabochon is going to sit nicely. So the, your cabochon's got two kind of holes in it. So find it so it sits in the middle and so that you're working on the front of it like so. So mine is now there, so I've got my thread at the top, so at the, the side holes of my cabochon, and I've got my um, needle on both ends and I'm ready to start working. So first of all, I'm going to add on this side a size 11 seed bead, and I'm gonna go through the bottom of kind of the uh, one of the arches on this side. So I'm pulling that through and letting that drop down and then picking up my opposite needle and picking up a seed bead and then going through that same one. So to come in through that same um, little Arcos bead and then sitting that together at the bottom. So this is like our bottom piece of our earring. Okay, so now I'm just gonna leave one, to the, one of my needle threads to the side I'm going to start working. Now it works around in a continuous round and then we add a little bit of detail. So it doesn't look like it's going to sit right until we actually get it all together. Okay, so from here we're going to add a size 11 seed bead. Let's just make a little bit of space. So a size 11 seed bead and then we're going to be using just these, this, these are three hole beads. We're just going to be using the ones on either side and we're going to come through the arch side so through the arch side of one of these and that's going to sit in this direction and then on this outside we need to add five so one two three four five and through the top of this bead so through the top of the arch and pull that in don't worry if it doesn't sit perfectly it will do when we've got it all together we're going to pick up another uh, seed bead and go through the arch side again of one of these. Like so, like I said, it's not gonna sit perfectly just at the beginning, but we're kind of getting there. And again, we're gonna add five. One, two, three, four, five. And then come through the other side of this arch. Like so. Okay, so we've almost got all the way around. Again, one seed bead through the arch side at the end. Okay, and just for ease, I'm gonna turn this around like so. You can see that shape building up. And one, two, three, four, five, through the other end of that arch. like so, just pulling this together, there we go, we're almost there and it's just adding that one seed bead, there we go, and then coming back through right where we started right at the beginning, so now we've got that full circuit in, everything will sit a little bit happier with itself now. So there we go. So we've got all that shape in. We're going to continue working with the same needle all the way around to the bottom of that cabochon. 
and then back up. You're just going to follow that thread path, so coming back up through that seed bead, we're going to work our way to that arch, through that arch, and then we're going to cut just two seed beads here because we're going to create a little bit of definition in these sides. So we're going to make them a little bit more defined. So we added five seed beads. We'll come up through two. We're going to miss the third one and then come through the fourth and fifth ones and through that arch bead, that little arcos bead and the seed bead. So and by doing that and then pulling this and kind of just supporting everything, giving it a tug. Now if you can see this, this is now sat in more of a little point at this side and we're going to do that all the way around. So we're going to come through the next arcos bead, we're going to come through two of the seed beads, miss a seed bead and back down through until we get to that other side of the arch and then we can give it a nice pull. So pulling that through, making sure we don't get any loops caught anywhere. Now if it does that and wants to sit on the inside, just pop your needle in and flip it to the upside and then give it a tug and it will sit in more of that point to position. And again through that next arc of speed and proceed through two of this little section of five that we added and back down the last two missing that middle one again just if it's not wanting to sit on the outside just put your needle into the bead and just kind of persuade it to sit in the right direction and then coming through that next arc of speed and what you want to do is just so that these threads actually are finishing at the same spot and don't forget to give this a good tug so we get that bead to kind of pop out of its position and make this more kind of pointed so like so and then give this a good tug okay so now you can see if I lay that down you'll be able to see better we've got a point on all those sides now if threads are actually met just for a second so while they've met we will just tie a knot so just tying a knot in there, it doesn't have to be lots of knots, one knot will do, it's just to secure it. So now all we need to do is move up to this top to start creating our bail section. So I'm going to leave that needle there because this one's heading in the right direction. So and we're going to move up to the top. So we're just going to follow that bead path through, so using my needle and just going to follow that bead path through so there's a few rows of thread there so you may need your pliers just to help you pull through any of these thread sections so pulling this through until we get to this tip here so we want to come through those two miss that the points one because we don't want to encourage that to come back in through these two so just following that thread path until we get back to the very top. So this way. It's quite a quick earring to make as well. I do love this colour, it's so rich, it's very opulent. Okay, so now we've come back up to the top. So, and I've actually come through that very top bead, so my thread is exiting at the very top there. Now if you look at the actual earrings that I've made, I've made them with an earring find that's got quite a large loop at the bottom, and that's because I've made them with, um, it's an even number, but using that bead at the bottom. So I want it to sit with that top that top bead inside there. So that's why you need a slightly bigger loop on the ear wire that you use. So we're going to use that that very top bead, that number number three bead, the one that's sticking out, and we're going to add five more beads. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've now got a collection of six, including that bead, and coming through there. So you'll find that two will sit at either side and one will sit at the top. 
So if you want to use an earring finder that's maybe a little bit of a smaller loop, then I would maybe add six, um, six rather than five, just to give you kind of three, sat next to three, and make it a little bit easier for your earring to sit. But I quite liked the shape of that, how it sat. Okay, so that is your earring fully made, ready to add to your ear wire. All I would do is now just trim off those threads, well work, work them through a little bit and trim them off. Um, if you had a bead, because um, because I didn't have beads in this kit and I didn't notice that if I just fold up there, you've got a hole in the middle at each side of there, so you would be able to add maybe a six millimeter bead in there as well if you had one, so that would be quite nice. So there we go, so these are the finished earrings. So this is the alternate colorway. So, and they're really nice, easy to use, they're beautiful bees, and the colours in these kits are absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you again soon.